Welcome back to the channel, Guitars, Mods, and Music. Today, we're gonna wire up three-way blade switch for the Telecaster. If you've seen our last video, I was showing you guys how to make these jumpers. That way you can wire everything up using these jumpers with these alligator clips and make sure everything's working properly before you actually solder them up. Quickest way to run the, run the pots is getting them too hot, soldering on them all the time, you know. So what we have here is your typical fender style three-way blade switch. I always mark neck, put an N for neck, B for bridge, because sometimes you have it upside down, you get to looking at things differently. So what we have here is a vintage inspired pot for volume and a vintage inspired pot for tone with a push pull on it for coil splitting and we'll get to that later today we're just gonna quickly show you how to wire this up the pickups we're using is hot rails i'm using seymour duncan wiring for them told you in the last video you can get on the internet google and just about every pickup company even the boutique companies have a wiring diagram. So we're wiring this up, Seymour Duncan wiring codes. All these hot rails are is a humbucker. They're just a humbucker. It's the same thing as the big humbuckers. They just put them in a small package for strats and Telecaster. This is a Telecaster setup. So what you have is a bear that's a ground. This green is a ground. This red and this white are wired together. They're gonna go to your coil split, and we'll do that in another video. Right now, we're just gonna wire the pickups to the switch, and the switch to the volume pot. Real simple. Got the same wires here on the bridge pickup. Green and bare are grounds. The red and white will go to your coil split, okay, on your tone knob. So, the wires we're going to be working with then is going to be that black wire on both of them. The black wire on the bridge, the black wire on the neck. There's your neck, there's your bridge. Here's your switch. I went ahead and dropped it in there. I've got three of these black wires made up with the alligator clips. This is just so, you know, you know it's going to work correctly when you go to actually solder. So there's your black wire. Clip that guy on there. Over here on your switch, usually when you buy these switches, see how that's soldered to that lug, to that lug, then it jumps over here to that lug and to that lug. Usually they have that on there. But if they don't, it's no big deal. You just solder it just like that. These are the inside lugs, two inside lugs for your neck. Bam, bam. You'll solder that. Bring it over. Don't touch this one. Don't touch that one. Bring it over, solder to there, solder to there. But usually you can pick them up already with that soldered. So this is your neck. Got an end on it right there. Got your black wire coming from your neck pickup. Clipped on right there. I'm gonna clip it on right over here. Man. So when you actually solder this together, you're gonna to solder this black wire to that. But right now we're gonna we're gonna set it all up, and in the end we're gonna look at and, and show you how to test it to make sure everything is, is correct. So we're gonna grab another lead, we're gonna do the same thing on your bridge pickup. Hook it on. Now it's going to come to the outside over here. You got your black coming to the bridge, you got your black coming to the neck. So now we need to get from the switch to the volume pot. It's also going to be a black wire. Goes from there. 
this lug here in the in the center right here goes from this lug to this lug this first lug to this first lug on the volume pot right there boom now you can see this black wire already soldered on on that same lug see that black wire already soldered on the same lug it's coming over here to this tone knob and it's soldered to that very first lug there that gets you to the tone put that back on there you come from this switch to this first lug on your volume you've got a wire soldered from there to your tone that's your switch wiring the only other wire you're going to put on there coming off the switch is going to be a ground so on your ground you know a lot of people will wire they're bare they're green together put them all on on one place on on the pot you know you're going to ground here you can ground there ground down here ground up here there's a lot of places you can ground what we're going to do we're going to come off of this this little lug right here on the side of that you can see that runs through that's touching this metal this metals touching this metal okay so it's grounding and we're gonna come right here and we'll end up soldering it to the top of this volume pot that's your switch that's three quarters of the wiring right there I mean you're really down to your grounds and your coil split we'll go over the coil split in another video the reason I'm doing it like this and showing you with these jumpers we're gonna test we're gonna have it all set in there we're gonna test it together and the reason I'm doing it like this is because I've seen a lot of really good videos out there on wiring and stuff a lot of guys have put out excellent videos on them but when I read the comments everybody's going hey you went too fast or you didn't really explain. I understand that because, you know, they're sitting there trying to solder and, and show everybody. It can get pretty involved. These allocator clips, if you find out you're not right, you know, you can move it around. Well, if it ain't that wire, it must be this one, you know. I mean, you have a wiring diagram, that's very helpful. But in the end, you know, you want to know you're right before you start soldering. So I hope this was helpful. I'm going to come right back with another video on how you wire that coil split. And then we're going to sit here and test it. Then after that, I'll wire it all together, throw some strings on it. And we'll play this baby. Hope this was helpful. Have any questions, leave, them, leave it in the comments and uh, we'll, we'll get to you. Have a great day, great week. Thanks for spending your time with us. And remember, play your guitars, mod your guitars, and make them your own.